Hi, this is John from Montage Tablet. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Safari browser in iOS 5. It's uh, very similar to the old version, but it has some new functionality. You might want to check it out. First, there's the tab bar with the option to add a new tab. Let's first open Montage Tablet. Oh, and it's much faster, especially with JavaScript rendering. As you can see here, we only have one tab right now. You can open a new one. Let's open Google. You can easily rearrange tabs. You just have to press, hold and drag them. You can close the tab by tapping the X button or you can add a new one if you like. Right now we have uh, three tabs open. And uh, most important, this is the new way to browse tabs, it's easier than the new one because you only have uh, to tap once to change tabs. In the older version you have the button right here when you have to, you press that, you see the list of the current running tabs and you switch to the new tab. Then there's the functionality that I wanted to show you right now, it's uh, read late for read later. You have a read index here. And to add a new site to the read index, you have the to add to reading list. You can also add to home screen that was uh, present before, add to bookmarks bar, uh, email link, now you have the option to tweet it or directly print the page. Add to reading list and to access uh, the current reading list, go here and you have the option to write, uh, go to the bookmarks bar. You can also change the pros to bookmarks and go back uh, to the reading list which is listed on top. And just um, uh, switch tabs between all your reading list items or just um, the unread ones. You press it and the um, bookmark um, reloads. You can also add items to the reading list by pressing and holding a list, a link, and add directly to reading list. And a nice animation shows you that really happened. You can also press and hold and open a link in a new tab bar, like uh, you, would, you would be able to do that uh, in the old version too. And the new reading list has all the items, especially the read one.